Tonight's highlights are brought to you by Hudson Cadillac Buick GMC. We're a good deal better. It was the home opener at Arlington High School as the Admirals hosted the Indians. In the early goings, it appeared Arlington's defense did its homework. Peyton Hill doesn't give Jesse Pascal a chance to reach the hole. And E.J. Escato has things wrapped up in the flats. But Tim Cipollini has a clear connection downfield with his favorite receiver, Zahir Woody. A 40-yard grab puts Ketchum across the 50. Cipollini rolls left and connects with Joe Carr for another first down. And that sets up this strike to Brandon Shavara. The Indians score first and it's 2 to nothing. No, it's 14 nothing? No, it's 20 nothing? Oh, wow, that would be something. No, it's 6 nothing with the missed extra point. It took Arlington's offense a little bit to get in gear, but Ricardo Yolis shifts into overdrive with a 45-yard gain. And E.J. Escato takes it in. Arlington takes a 10-6 lead? No, 11-6? Oh man, folks, this was happening all night as the timekeeper tried to get a handle on the scoreboard. Yeah, 88-6. It had the press box manager and PA announcer pulling his hair out. Big opportunity here as Cipollini intends his pass to go to Woody, but Jacob Pfeiffer is right there and brings it all the way back to the 10-yard line. From there, Austin Heck flares one to Anthony Lantieri. And Arlington takes a... oh boy. It's 14-6. Ketchum is back on the move later in the second. Cipollini to Woody. And Zaheer Woody makes the catch within the double team, keeps his balance, and scores. The two-point conversion was no good. It was 14-12 at halftime. Third quarter, Arlington gets a little help when this pass to Lantieri is ruled interference. And that extra penalty yardage sets up this. A perfect strike from Heck to Pfeiffer. The extra point makes it 21-12 Arlington. But Ketchum was about to capitalize on Arlington's miscues as Heck loses the handle and Tommy Knox scoops in to recover it. Ketchum wastes no time on the first play from scrimmage. Cipollini not afraid to throw into double coverage because Zahir Woody is just that good. Ketchum goes for the two-point conversion, it's good! Making it a one-point game, 21-20 after three. Fourth quarter, Heck launches a bomb to Pfeiffer. A huge gain here. The handoff to Ricardo Yolis gets it down to the six-yard line. And Austin says, Heck, I'll take it in myself. Arlington goes up 28-20. But Ketchum wouldn't quit. Cipollini passes, and Woody takes it right out of the hands of the defender. A few plays later, Cipollini rolls right and runs it in to make it 28-28 with the two-point conversion. But Arlington just kept swinging. And Yolis cuts left, finds a seam, breaks free, and outruns Shavara for the deciding score. Arlington wins a wild one. 35-28, the final. We're really starting to mature as a football team. And like I just said to the guys, you know, we came into this season knowing we were going to be young, knowing we were going to be inexperienced. You know, we ended up in a little bit of a dogfight at Carmel last week, which, quite honestly, I, I think mistakes had a lot to do with. We, uh, we were able to cut the mistakes in half tonight. Uh, I think we had less than half the penalties we had last week. Uh, we had less issue, issues with substitutions and things like that. And the kids are just really starting to get it. I mean, they're coming together. They're realizing that you have to be completely engaged for all 48 minutes. 
and it's making a difference. So, you know, I, I just couldn't be any prouder of the way that they're growing up. When you came out here, you take a look at the defense, you see how things are set up, you're running your offense. Did anything surprise you that they did, or um, were you that prepared? We we knew what they were going to come out in, so we were pretty prepared for anything they, they showed us. You know, I feel like we knew basically everything they were going to give to us tonight, and we were ready for it. How big a win is this year? Huge. Number two made some big, big, big plays against us. He's a great player, but I think that we handled ourselves well after that. What does it mean to the team to be 2-0 and at this point? Honestly, I think it means a lot that we're a young team with a new, brand new head coach going against our rival John Jay next week. If we could get 3-0 and after that, like that's halfway through the season, we're 500. We're in pretty good shape. Did the team have a good practice this week, or was it a surprise that Arlington did certain things you weren't ready for? No, there was no real shock. We practiced well. We just came out and shot ourselves in the foot in a number of different ways. Well, let's talk about the, the play of your team. I mean, offensively, you scored 28 points. That's pretty good. Yeah, I wish we could run the ball a little bit better tonight. Um, they did a good job against us on that. They kind of owned the line of scrimmage against us. Um, you know, we lost a couple backs throughout the course of the game. Uh, but we managed to still score 28 points in, in high school football. You got to win those games. We tried a lot. We, we, we had to come out and finish. That's, we came out slow. We picked up. We, we got punched in the face in the first half, and we came back we realized what we had to do. We realized we were here to play. There's nothing we could go back from, but the last couple of plays just slipped.